Alrighty, everybody. Like I said, I'm going to be doing this today as my, uh, is it worth it? But this is also going towards my uh, million gold no auction house challenge. Now, how I'm going to do this. I'm going to spend three hours doing these. And if we get any sky shards, we'll assume a sky shard is worth at least 1.5k. Because usually you can sell the mount for 15k gold. 15 to 30k. Depends on your server. If you already have it, that's assuming. Now, the man I'm talking about is Alani. He is a rare that flies around here, usually alive. He's probably over there somewhere, and I just can't see him at this distance. But when you collect 10 Sky Shards, you can create an item which is untradeable. However, if somebody's in your group, you can master loot him the mount in exchange for gold, assuming you already have the mount. So, the Sky Shards can drop off anything in the Veil, they are uh, fairly rare, like 1 in 1k drop. Uh, I think in 3 hours I'll most likely get at least 1 Sky Shard. Probably 2 though. Um, but for the Million Gold Challenge, we aren't going to count that gold. I'm keeping the gold for the sake of adding it to my total for today. And we'll see what I get in 3 hours. I will be drinking Potions of Luck, which um, I did already have. But like I said, they're easily craftable. By uh, using Golden Lotus. And Golden Lotus is what makes the potion. You need an alchemist to do it. If you can't get your hands on any Golden Lotus. Use Spirit of Harmonies. Which you can trade in the Veil for Golden Lotus if you want. Uh, this means you do not have to react or interact with anyone across the auction house or nothing. So that's why I'm keeping the gold. I think in 3 hours I'll probably manage to get about... 13k raw gold because those gulao chests at the bottom that's what you kill these guys for they give a key and each of those chests contains like 50 gold almost um keys are pretty frequent along with the chests that i'm going to get from this so this may be one of my go-to farming locations while i'm not doing the um 25 man heroics we're gonna see and we're gonna spend three hours doing it and here we go. Alright, so we finished our three hours. I opened all the chests. I ended up having 45 keys. I did get a single sky shard. So if we count that as 1500, definitely adds up pretty quick. Uh, I would say it's about 17k because each of these boxes are worth roughly 70 gold and stuff. Definitely a lot of gold right here, plus all of the mats I received. Uh, look at that. Almost 2k wind wool cloth. Um, can definitely make a profit with those and uh, also if you're doing this during the lovely charm dropping event they can drop them so you will receive those I got 704 in the course of it uh, not bad if you're in a tailor when you're opening these gulao chests uh, it can contain imperial silk which 12 of these basically changes into a royal satchel, which is like 800 gold now. Unfortunately, not worth quite as much as it used to be, simply because uh, the Hexweave bags are worth two more ba bag slots and worth dirt cheap. So it ruined the price. These royal satchel used to be like 3k. Hopefully with Legion, the next biggest bag won't be so easy to obtain. And with the uh, decreased amount of Hexweave bags, we're going to see a big increase. But overall, it's about 5k an hour if you count the prices of the Sky Shards. And if you get lucky, you may get a lot of those. You never know. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy and have fun farming.